Yo, welcome back to part 2. Just a note, if you like the info here, do hit the subscribe button below and whoever subscribes, I'm going to give my studio manager here a treat. Yep. If you haven't watched part 1, it's best that you do so before watching this because that covers the internet side of things. And now that you understand what the internet is, we will then talk about LAN, the local area network. Local area network is where all your devices communicate, be it through ethernet, or Wi-Fi. So in the context of Switcher Studio, a good LAN setup means that you can receive smooth video feeds from your cameras and your SwitcherCast devices. One of Switcher Studio's greatest strengths is how it manages video transmission, especially with reinforced mode turned on, which delays the video feeds from cameras to the iPad so that it's smoother. Load up enough cameras on your Wi-Fi though and they might start to lag because routers, they come in different specs. The gist is that the greater your router's wireless bandwidth, the better it is at multitasking and handling more cameras. Just imagine, you have 5 cameras each sending Full HD video feed to the iPad wirelessly. However, they don't go straight to the iPad. The 5 feeds go to your router first, and then they go to your iPad wirelessly. When the Wi-Fi channel gets congested, here comes the lags and the starters and those will obviously translate to your program live stream as well. The fix is usually simple enough, hardwire your iPad. And you might have seen this advice repeated again and again on the Facebook group. What this does is that it halves the load on the Wi-Fi with all camera feeds sent wirelessly through the router and then the iPad receives them via the Ethernet cable. If you have the catching to upgrade obviously, get the Wi-Fi 6 routers and make sure all your cameras are iPhone 11 or newer. Because Wi-Fi 6 is designed to manage the ever-increasing number of devices we connect to our network. You may also want to hardwire your iPhone cameras instead. So in some cases, I actually hardwire some cameras and I leave some cameras on Wi-Fi. With the USB 3 Lightning to USB adapter and then the Ethernet to USB adapter, your iPhone can be powered and hardwired to the network at the same time. Some advanced methods involve scanning for the least congested Wi-Fi channels in the area and changing your router settings to those. If you have a ton of setup time, go ahead. Now what if your cameras are going to be placed pretty far away from a base station? Try using a mesh router like the MK62 I have here. I've had great experience using this and my latency often falls below 5 milliseconds. So satellite units can be placed around a large room to expand the range of the Wi-Fi network. Now let's dive into the setup. We have the following here, Netgear M2 LTE modem, Netgear Wi-Fi 6 mesh router, iPad Air Generation 4, Vava USB-C hub with Ethernet port, Ethernet cable. Connect the M2 to the router's Ethernet port and the router's Ethernet port to the iPad. Once the router connects successfully to the modem and has internet connection, the light turns blue. And in your iPad settings page, IP addresses will appear in the ethernet page. Do a quick test to check that the connection is alive and well. Again, the modem here is only used for internet connection, so I actually turn off its Wi-Fi so that our devices don't get confused. The mesh router will provide a Wi-Fi network to help all my devices communicate. Moving on, I have 5 iPhones all ready to connect, so let's bring them in. You can view the network status of connected devices here, battery levels, storage levels, uh, packet loss, latency, and as you can see over here, the latency is dropping as the router improves its bin forming. This means that it can detect where the devices are and sort of focus its Wi-Fi signal towards those cameras. Of course, I'm pretty sure I didn't cover everything in tremendous detail, so if you have more details to add to help out the rest, please drop them in the comments below, and if you have more questions, feel free to ask them below as well. Otherwise, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!